Now let's continue our journey as we enter an electronics market. Just across the street, you'll see big signs for laptops and phones. That's where we're heading. So let's cross the road and let's go check it out. Even when we're crossing, you'll see cars that have the green number plates like this one just here. These are electric cars, so it just gives you an idea how developed China has become. But let's try not get run over. That's one thing, when there's like a green light, uh, the lights are red, cars can still turn left and right, so you have to be really careful when crossing the road. But China is the biggest exporter of electronics in the whole world. You can go to a city called Shenzhen, which is about three and a half hours away from Qingdao, which is like the hub for all the electronics in China. But we're just in a city called Qingdao, which doesn't have a reputation for electronics at all. Both Qingdao and Shenzhen used to be fishing villages back in the 80s and 90s. And now they're developed into huge hubs for any consumer goods you can find. And this is just one of many of uh, electronic markets here in Qingdao. So let's go in and check this place out. You can literally find any kind of different electronic items. I think this floor is all for laptops and phones. Um, some are new, some are second hand. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, look at this laptop here selling for 10,000. So about a thousand pound. You can get yourself a nice HP laptop. But let me show you this one over here. This is where I um, actually started the channel. I came to this market here and visit this man. Hey, ni hao. <laughs> this is Han. How you doing, UK? Okay? Cool. Hello. Hello, hello. Yeah, so Han has, um, has a stand here. What do you sell? Cameras? Cameras. Yeah, all cameras. Yes. Wow. And you have some like expensive ones, Panasonic, different ones here. Um, drone, right? Drone? Yeah. Oh, is that some reminder, Jigger? Uh, okay, so, so uh, Dolchen, <laughs> uh, Dada, this one. Uh, let me have a look. Yeah, Dolchen, Jiga. Oh, you, you knew one and an old one. Oh, old one. new one? Yeah, how much yeah. the new one? New one or. Uh, Let's get the calculator out. 7,000, wow, so for yeah. about under a thousand dollars you can get uh, yourself. You can use uh, three power. Right, right. Cool. Power? Yeah. Three. Oh, yeah. three batteries. Yeah. Okay. Can, can we play? Can you play on it? Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, this one. You Go on. Please, this one. Go on, you try, you try. Hello. I've never done it before. So even in these electronic markets, you can uh, find empty. Uh, no people. Yeah, it's empty, so you can play. Yeah. Go on. Wow. This is like a DJI uh, drone. It also has yes. like a camera. You can see it right on there. So yeah, these markets literally have everything. Can I try? Yeah. Yeah, really? Go on then. Let oh, me hold it. This is this is uh, left and forward. Oh, higher. Way. Oh, slowly, slowly. Slowly, slowly. How's it go forward? Uh oh. Oh, you have it. <laughs> no, yeah. Just <laughs> here. Nice. Where do you find all these products? Do they come from different cities? Uh, so he said, oh, all from the original factory. Okay. Um, Shenzhen or Nali? Uh, Shenzhen. Oh. Dajiao is Shenzhen. Shenzhen is from Shenzhen. Yes. yes. All, all from Shenzhen or? No, no, no. Eh? Uh, like, uh, like Japan. Japan as well. Yes. Okay. Uh, okay. For like, Suzhou. Suzhou. Okay. Uh, so yes. he gets it from different cities, like in the south and also in Japan. Okay. Nice. Okay. All right. Thank you. Thank you. I'll see you soon. Okay. Right, bye, bye, bye. Yes, yeah, so that was Han. He has um he has his own like camera store and sells uh, even like drones that have cameras too. But let's keep going. Let's keep looking around. So as you can imagine, people like Han, they, they, want to, they obviously sell to different people in different cities. It's not only people who come to the markets here. So really interesting how these places work. I think back in the day, these places used to be much, much busier. Um, it's late in the afternoon, but it's not that busy, right? So kind of just have the whole market to ourselves. We can just stroll around, see what people are saying. Let's, um, let's have a look. So they even have like a restaurant for the workers. Obviously, uh, they're here all day, they can even get fed, which is great. Anyhow, 
No. Uh, Neil, uh, Pingo, Shisema? Mayo. Shuo? Shuo. 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 Brand new iPhone. Just Shindema, Pingo. Okay, so for a brand new iPhone, you can pay 5,700, which is about just over 500 pounds for the new iPhone 15. Just Shindema? Yeah, sure. Sure? Okay. Yeah, sure. Ah, sure. Okay. Douchen. Douchen, Lusa. Wuchen. Okay, so about 5,000. It's like the same price as the, um, as the 15. So obviously, he sells them here. So it's all these different iPhones, from the silver ones to the green ones, the blue ones. Wow, cool. That's just it. <laughs> wow, so old, this phone. Wow, look at these phones. These are like from 1900s. The Philips. Dolchen, <laughs> uh, Dolchen. So when they get the calculator out, you know you can haggle. A 160, so for about 20, 20 pounds, you can get yourself a cheap, um, Cheap little, little phone. You got some iPhones here. Cool. So in China, they have different phones. You have the, the American ones, obviously Apple, but they also have some Chinese brands too, which are these ones. Dolchen uh, iPhone. Three thousand six hundred. Okay, so for about three hundred pounds, you can get yourself an iPhone. So yeah, you can find them pretty cheap here. Shit. Anyhow, Neo Pingo Shisanma Shisan. 十三十四十三十四多少钱十三十三一二八十三一二八三千三差不多好的哦 oh, okay so three thousand three hundred so she's giving us a better price okay 这是新的吗？对啊，这是second okay so these are these are all second hand um, products yeah so she gave us a better price I just want to test the waters just to give you an idea what you can do when you come to these places. And that they even bring their kids to kids to work. It's quite quite common when you're um, when you're in China. You got a business. You got to do these things. Wow! Look at these guys. These guys are like repairing. Let me show you. This guy's like repairing an iPhone. Okay. So yeah, they have these like setups here where they can um, fix fix phones, fix computers. So yeah, it's quite a crazy business when you're here. You're literally you're going to be selling, but you also have to repair at the same time. Wow, look at this store. Selling all kinds of games and things. Yeah, I'll show the phone. <laughs> Let's have a look in her shop. So she's even got a PS5 here. Wow, and all the Switch gadgets, all the games you can get for the Switch. PS5 games as well. Wow, really impressive this shop. So what's the stuff? And uh, anyhow, um, a Dolchen PS5, a uh, PS4. Uh, this is a Dolchen PS5. 三千三百八十日本。Oh, uh, okay, so for about three thousand eight hundred. Um, just 新的吗? Ah, uh, 新的, 新的, 新的。新的, oh, uh, well, 这个, oh, brand new. Okay. Wow, okay. So brand new PS5 you can get for around three thousand, which is about, which is roughly four hundred pounds. So not too bad. I think it's better than what you're paying online. So I don't know where they get them from. Uh, PS5, uh, 中国? 日本。Japan. Oh, Japan, Japan. Okay, she said Japan. So that's the thing with all the electronic goods, the best place to get it in Asia and ship it to China is Japan. So that's why you'll see so many here. And even this switch has some Japanese writing. But that's why maybe in your country, in Europe or America, they usually sold out because they'll get it from Japan and yeah, sell them here. Probably at a better price. Okay, shishi. Thank you. So yeah, you just get an idea how crazy these kind of markets are. Qingdao isn't even known as an electronic city. It's just literally a city that produces beer. But because we're in China, and it's the biggest exporter of electronics, you'll find anything you want here. So we're just going to head down this street. You see how built up these buildings are, eh? We're going to head down this street, and we're going to head into another electronics market. So when you go down these kind of places, you can, you can make your way down, and find literally anything you want, from laptops to phones, so even the PS5 like we just saw. Let's keep walking down. 
and we even have these street vendors selling all sorts. Sunflower seeds, I'm sure these are really famous in, in Asia. Like in Russia and China, they all love to eat sunflower seeds. Oh, I've noticed. Fresh fruit from the local market. So what you're kind of noticing, even when you're, when you're walking around in China, everyone tries to make, make a buck, earn their own money. They're always trying to set up businesses. That seems like the best way to go in China. People are really like self-sufficient, which, uh, which is great to see. Obviously, you can probably earn a bit more money if you're trying to set up your own business and um, it's doing well. So let's keep walking down. Let's see what we can find. So this is another market just across the street. Let's, um, let's go check this one out. Yeah, like I was saying about the Chinese always just selling things, setting up their own businesses. This lady is making these like fish ball. Uh, just shema, octopus, right? Just, just shema? Okay, she doesn't want to talk. Right, right, it's kind of like squid balls. It's like octopus. Yeah, you have this picture of an octopus here. And they drive them around these little cars. Really interesting. Okay, cool. See you. All right, let's cross the road and let's head into another electronics market. Give you a different perspective. Let's head in. Okay, crossing the road in China, you have to be careful. All these things going on, you have to be looking around. You can't be, um, yeah, you can't, you can't lose concentration. Crossing the road in China. You don't know who's gonna trip you up or what car's gonna come from what direction. I can't say just stacked you on the stairs. Okay, let's head in. Let's head into this place. Anyhow, yeah, look at this place, it's so awful. Anyhow. Uh, do do ten, do you go? You buy sand. You buy sand. Okay, so one hundred. So these these kind of um, these kind of speakers are like for the elderly. The elderly love to play their music, so that's what this guy's doing with these kind of stereos. So not really for like little kids, but <coughs> things like this. Uh, look what else we can find here: walkie talkies. So literally any electronic goods. Anyhow, um, uh, do ten, do you go? Uh, do ten, do uh, you go? Yeah. Alright, okay. So yeah, this place sells walkie-talkies, that's what I'm saying. You can literally find anything you want. From torches, walkie-talkies. So that I guess they're like most of them are like wholesalers. You buy each one? Okay, so for about 100, for about 10 pounds, you can get yourself some walkie-talkies. Cool, should you? Intel computers, so they're all like custom, I guess. Look at this one, they have like different fans. So these guys sell like the cases for like um, different desktop computers. You see this one has like a big glass on the, on, the, on the back. And same with this one here, they sell these kind of shells. But this place is packed full of electronics. Oh. Alright, shishi. Alright, let's keep looking around, let's see what else they have here. Let's go upstairs. Oh, you can literally find all sorts, look what found here. What else they have? Anyhow, because this one's selling like smart watches, all sorts of different electronical goods, tempered glass for your phone cases, even little USB charging sets. So yeah, you can imagine they probably sell these on like Amazon or something, and they'll just be like, yeah, look at these phone cases. You can literally just find anything you want, custom ones. Yeah. So this is probably like a wholesaler. And even there, yeah, look at these, there's some wireless headsets. Uh, let me just ask this lady a question, see what she's saying. Are you a wholesaler or retailer? So she said, oh, it can be wholesale or retail. Oh, okay, right, right. Um, cool. Uh, what do you want? Oh, these ones. Okay, so this is like a like a smartwatch. Uh, how much? This one is two hundred. Two hundred. So two hundred for like an Apple Watch. So for around twenty pounds, you can find yourself one of these smartwatches as well. And um, she has all these phone cases as well. They have the Apple logo. Let's see if they're actually official. I don't know, but. <laughs> uh, now, uh, how much? How much? Asha, Asha. Okay, so literally like two pounds. Imagine if you just buy loads of these and sell them on 
Amazon or something, you'll be making a fortune. It's like, usually cases are quite expensive. So yeah, look at all of these. I'm trying to put this back on, there we go. So she has loads of different stuff you can find in these electronic stores. Headphones. But yeah, let's um, let's keep, let's keep wandering around. Oh, shit, shit. Uh, now, um, a Dolchen uh, Shoji cover. <laughs> yeah. Sushi. Sushi, so 40. Okay. She's a bit more expensive than the lady upstairs. This is like five, um, five pounds, so she's selling it more for retail, but the other lady was more wholesale. So different prices, you have to, um, you have to look around. Let's head out, let's go to another market. There's one just down, down the road. All right, so as I was saying, this whole street is literally just filled with electronic, uh, electronic shops. Um, you can go down this way, or we can go down here. We can literally just find anything we want. Let's keep looking around and see what we can find. Let's cross this road. So this is where we're going to head to. It's another electronics, electronics shop. As you can see here, they all have these big signs, so you can't miss them. Oh. They all have these huge, great signs here. Um, but yeah, super interesting that you have these places. In the West, you don't really have them. You have retailers, but wholesalers are really far and few between. And these kind of places used to be much busier. Now they've kind of adapted their, their business structure, the way they sell their goods. They will sell it to other cities or places like this. So let's head in here, let's cut food. And even as we're heading in, let me just show you. Even on the left here, they have Huawei. This is a Chinese brand, not even the, um, don't even have Apple. So straight in, it's a Chinese product. And this is a new phone that Huawei made, which is like the Mate 60. This is like to compete with, um, to compete with Apple with the iPhone. So really interesting, but let's have a wander around. Let's check it out and see what they're selling. All sorts of stuff. So people come in for many different reasons. You'll be quite surprised as we're walking the different, the different products they actually do sell. It's not just phones and laptops. Um, obviously you see some here as well that they're selling, but there's a variety of products you can find. If you need something repaired, you can come here. But this place is like a maze, so I'm probably gonna get lost as we're walking, but let's get lost together and see what we can find. She said, oh, what are you buying? Um, just looking around, do you have anything interesting? Oh, so we can, oh, okay, okay, come on. Just in the ma? Yeah, oh, it's all brand new. So wow. Okay, so she sells like Logitech. This lady has a Logitech mount. Uh, Dao Chen, this is 190. Okay, so it's about 190, 20 pounds. You can get yourself a little mouse. Great, right, okay. You can get the most the most popular one. This is the most popular one. Oh, you lost something. Okay, Dao Chen, this is 200. Okay, this is like a, a better one. Okay, right, right. What about this one? Uh, Zemma Mai Da, this headphone. Uh, the, yeah. Liu Bai. Okay, so 600. Okay, so about uh, 50 pounds, you get yourself with some headphones. Really interesting. Wow, so you have all these different brands here that they're selling. <laughs> What's that? Steering wheel. Oh, okay. Wow, okay, it's like a, a PlayStation. Oh, wow, okay, interesting. Oh, face and half. What about uh, here? Yeah, yeah. Any? Okay, have a look. Cool. Sit here. Desktop computers. I don't know what they must do with all these. There's just so many. How can they sell them? They must sell it to offices or something like this. Wow. Let's have a look in here. Anyhow, are you a wholesaler or retailer? Pifasha. Wholesaler, okay, hey. Who will you sell these products to? Uh, businesses, okay, so just businesses. Uh, Zhongguo, in Zhongguo? Okay, so businesses around China, some offices, they'll be buying all these, these uh, desktop, these uh, monitors and desktop computers from places like here, just in Qingdao, in the north. Not even a city known for electronics. So you can imagine these things get passed around from city to city, not just in Shenzhen. Gives you an idea of how connected China is. And look at these uh, vlogging, vlogging stands. 
Uh, these are quite popular for live streamers here in China. Because when you go to like night markets, which we'll go to later, you'll see people with these in the street or even just using in their homes. Yeah, you can really get lost in these places. Different kinds of stuff, headphones, speakers, a microphone. Look at this, guys. So you can even get your hands on a golden microphone. If you want to sing a song at night, <laughs> get one of these. Cool. Now, a Dolce and Gia. Yeah. Okay, so about 10 pounds, you get yourself a little microphone. But the prices you get here would be uh, much cheaper than you'll find on Amazon. Which is, um, yeah, which is a bargain really if you're, if you're living here. But if you're from another country, you're going to pay a higher price. But everything comes from China. There's no surprise that when you do come here, you'll get things a little bit cheaper. And just know when, you, when they have the calculator, you can haggle a little bit. Yeah, so much going on. Let me just show you. More iPhones. More, more kind of uh, cables and chargers. They even sell these like shells for, um, for your desktop as well. With these cables. So if you need a charger, you just get one of these. And now, uh, dog chain, do you? Ten. Just ten. Okay, <laughs> just ten. So a pound, you can get yourself a little charger if you run out of battery. Wow, what else is she selling here? So phones here, phones, all sorts of goods. Wow. Uh, just in ma. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Half and half? Yeah. Okay, screen protectors too. So yeah, these, these kind of places are super interesting. It's much better experience than going to like your, your normal retailer. Or even if you're in a shopping mall here in China, I definitely prefer to come here because you just get a different kind of experience and um, they can also help you out on what's best. Start playing some games, Assassin's Creed. And <laughs> out. Here's four. Uh, PS4, Zhongguo, uh, Chinese PlayStation. PS4? A PS5. 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 Is it a Chinese one or Japan? Uh, Chinese. Chinese, ah, Chinese. Okay. A Dolchen uh, PS5. 3,000, uh, 2,000. 2,000, okay. Okay, so I think they all, um, they all have a similar price. It's new, it's a new PS5. The Shindama. Uh, new, new, new. New one? New. Okay, paused a bit. <laughs> but yeah, it's all new. And he's selling all these different games. Ha, uh, Dolchen, FIFA, FC24, uh, Dolchen. Uh, uh, four, 440. 440, okay, so 440, about 50 pounds, yeah. Get yourself on FIFA as well, FC24. Okay, let's have a look around. Oh, it's here. Yeah, even bottles here as well. So yeah, this market is really friendly. Everyone's kind of uh, willing to chat. Um, lots of things going around. Even plugs. I mean, if you're traveling, you definitely need a plug. This is like a USB uh, port for different wattage. This one's 20 and um, 66. Uh, Dolchen, do you Let's have a look. What's she, what's she quoting us? 85, so just 10 pounds, you get a little plug as well. Excellent. Great stuff. And even, she's even got like phone cases too. Okay, shush here. She was sort of very chatty. Some of them are quite, um, quite cool, eh? Don't really speak much. All sorts of things. So yeah, when you're walking here, you have to be looking around. All sorts going on. Security cameras. So as we were speaking to the lady earlier, these kind of places are also uh, wholesalers. They're factories. So they'll obviously sell them to businesses. And a lot of the work gets done here. So you have a lot of the back staff on their computers just um, doing all their, their maintenance and all sorts of stuff. You can even come to this place and get, um, it's like a little till. Let's ask him. Uh, Nihao, uh, do, do chen, jiga. Oh, is a shopper? Um, so I this guy. Literally all sorts of random stuff you wouldn't believe. Um, do, do chen, jiga. Hello, what? Si si chen. Okay, so I think it's, ah, oh, 4,000. So, yeah, about 500 quid. You can get yourself one of these, uh, one of these for your shop. So if you want to weigh your vegetables and sell, make a little till, that's what you, that's what you need. Alright, shishi. <laughs> wow, look at this guy, fixing all sorts. How much is it to fix this computer? Oh, do you? Uh, Sanbai? San Qian. San Qian, wow. 3,000 to fix this, uh, this computer. So like 300 pounds you're paying to fix this computer, wow.
Oh, she's sure. here. Yeah, I definitely trust these guys. If I was, um, if I was, if I need a computer, definitely, um, definitely a good place to come. How much is it to fix a laptop? One fifty, really? Okay, yeah, but really, super cheap. Okay, so around like one fifty to two hundred, fix one of these laptops. You're paying like. 10, 20 pounds, and they can get it done probably like by next day. I mean, look at all the gear they have. They got these um, soldering irons that we see on every shop, and this kind of um, this telescope. I don't know what they're called, but yeah, stethoscope, whatever you want to call it, um, to check to check all the gadgets. But super interesting. Uh, just here. Thank you. All right, let's. Um, man, this place is so easy to get lost. Let's head up to the top. I think at the top has these uh, custom computers. If um, you want to get like a super computer built, they'll go upstairs, so let's go. We have lots of different gaming computers. And this is what I'm talking about. Here he has the different prices for different computers you can get here. So he's quoting us 2,000 for a certain spec. And then you have it gets higher and higher, so 5,000, which around 500 pounds. Then about a grand. And then you have about a grand and a bit. So this is a shop where they obviously repair and make custom computers. Wow. And this guy here is actually using a Baidu, which is the, the search engine. Obviously you don't have Google, so if he wants to find prices of goods or look things up on the internet, it's blocked in China, so that's what it has to do. <laughs> Anyhow, it didn't end. I can I can speak. Um, how fast can you make a custom computer? Two hours. Two hours, really? Younger? Wow. So said in two hours, he can build like a custom computer. Where do you sell all these computers? Is it only Qingdao? He's a boss of the store, guys. Wow. Can I show them how the Chinese internet works? Okay, yeah? Okay, cool. So, guys, let me show you how the, um, the computer, the internet works in China. So, they actually, if you go to here, um, Move this out of the way. Let's search Google. So if you go onto Google, um, you can't actually access it unless they have VPN. Yeah, it literally just freezes. So I just searched Google in this computer, and yeah, nothing's loading. It just freezes. But they do have Bing. But this is Bing. Bing works. And that's the only thing that works. But it's not. It's not as good as Google. But that's what happens. So if you type into Google, that's loaded now. That's what you get, guys. Internet in China. So he was saying you can make a custom computer for you for two hours. And some of them you can pay like a grand, or some you can pay like a lower price. This is the same sign we saw earlier. Maybe they're all part of the same company. But yeah, look at these shops. This man's fixing a, fixing a laptop or computer, something like this. And now, he's a Gansha, ma. Is you? Is you. Okay, so I think he's just repairing this laptop. Uh, do chen, this one? Do Yeah, uh, to fix. This is Sanbai, so like 300. Okay, wow. What things can you repair? iPad. iPad, yeah. Computer, iPhone. Everything, everything. Wow. How did you learn to repair all these things? <laughs> so, oh, just school. So, you just went to like a computer school and he ends up. Doing all this. This is your own business? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Hi, cool. Hi, shishi, shishi. Yeah, super interesting guys. You got guys like Kim who just went to school to learn to fix computers and phones and they, they end up here in um in these electronic markets. They're just super smart people. It's um really interesting to see and they can make a living off doing all of this. I mean look at this guy over here fixing this desktop computer. Oh, we've even got these gaming ones. This is obviously like different monitors for gaming, all sorts of stuff. Wow. Oh, it's like a AOC. It must be like a Chinese brand. Uh, Dolce, do you? Oh, uh, this one? Yeah, uh, this one. 
Oh, do you, do you speak English? Uh, yeah. A little. Nice, nice. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, someone. H how much is this? I, I'm not boss. I'm just work here. Oh. I'm an intern. What do you do? I here. You, you assemble computers. You're still in school, or you? I, yeah, in school. Nice. So what were you studying? What I'm studying? Yeah, in school. I finished my, all my studying, and I'm applying for university now. Right, right. Where, where, where do you want to go? America. America. Are you right. from Britain? I'm from England. Yeah. Uh, from England. yeah. Okay. Your English is good, man. Yeah. Do you know any like history about this place? History about yeah, this place. Yeah, these kind of places. Uh, well, this place has been. 40 years ago. 40? 40. 14. 14, 14, 14 years right. Ago. Right. Uh, that's my boss. Here. Is he? He's the boss. Now, Lava. <laughs> All these people, they have their own business. Is, is it expensive to have a store here? Do you know? Uh, for this store, for this one, uh, it's about 60,000 60, a year. Really? So about, for the rent, 60,000 yeah, to have one of these? Yeah these kind of stores here. Who would you sell to? Is it just teenagers or are you uh, selling to businesses? People, I guess, mostly for uh, for work, business, and just like two kind of uh, men. The first one is the very expensive one. Right, right. computer with some very expensive components, some graphic cards, yeah. uh, CPUs, it's very expensive. And for the other kind of things, it's just uh, work, those, those computers in uh, office, Right, well, you sell to uh, those yeah. too. Right, right. It's very uh, cheap. Very cheap. Oh, okay. What is this brand? Is this like a gaming brand? Uh, yeah, it's a gaming brand mostly for those screen. Yeah, because in China, gaming is really popular, right, for t young kids and things like this. Uh, yeah, but as a, there used to be a lot of restriction policy. Yeah. And all this policy uh, was just abandoned in 2020. You mean restrictions for what? Playing games? Playing games. Okay. Uh, they call it electronic cocaine. Right, okay, so they don't want kids addicted to playing games, so they yeah, so, stop them. Uh, from 2012 to 2020, mm. uh, yeah. the restriction has been existing for a long time. Right. But after that, uh, it disappeared because it is ridiculous. Sure. I noticed you can get, you can get a computer uh, made really quickly, but it can be quite expensive, right, to make a custom PC. Yeah, yeah. Do, do you do that here as well? Do you make the make a custom PC? Yeah, we got the components, uh, computer parts from those other shops. Right. We buy them here and assemble. Really, you make it here, right? Just in this table. So how, how much? If I wanted a custom PC, I don't know uh, yeah. anything. How, yeah. how much would it cost for me to come and get my own PC? That depends. What do you want? Anything, just like a standard. A standard. You just want yeah, to work, maybe, uh, yeah. study. Office. Yeah, this kind of thing. Uh, Maybe well, it can be very uh, cheap. You can see on that board, like uh, the first one, the, the one on the laptop. Yeah. This one. It's only about one thousand two hundred eighty. Oh, okay. Is that good? Is that good? Like CPU? Uh, it's not, not very good. It's but not very good. It's enough for you to work and study. Right. So for like a like a crappy cheap lab uh, computer, you get like a one thousand one hundred. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I'll do the job. And then it just gets higher in price. What about this most expensive one? Oh, uh, the most expensive one. Down here. Uh, well, it actually, it is already been outdated. Right, okay. Because it's a, a nice, I don't know how to say that in English, but in right. Chinese we call it 9900. Right, okay. Uh, it's like, it's oh, like oh, a, the system, the CPU no, 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 system. No, no, no. I-9, uh, I, I that is its system, but for the 9900, well, you can see the 9 is the version. Oh, okay. It's already been 14 this week. Oh. It's just released uh, last week or this week. So, yeah. so it's outdated. So this one should be five years ago. Right. Oh, okay. <laughs> Need to like. So you're you're the one who can make them. If I if I needed one, uh, you could probably do it. Probably. Probably. <laughs> Need a bit of help. Wait, do you want to show me around? Uh, yeah, I can show you. Yeah, come on, let's do it. Oh, nice. Uh, a lot of uh, shops here is about Isis. Isis is brand very popular in China. It's what? from Taiwan. A Taiwan brand. Okay. Yeah, Taiwan brand. So uh, that one, yeah. that one just there, right? It's the Asus. Brand. Yeah, Asus. And that one, Xin uh, Flag, Sheng Qi in Chinese. That is about motherboard. Which one? Wait, what? Uh, the one very far. Oh, in the end, uh, okay. Cool, yeah, cool. the yellow one. Motherboard. So these these guys here, are they are they uh, all? Um, camera. Oh sure, are they, but are these guys are behind the laptops. Are they all like fixing things, or are they uh, are they are they like a retailer? They're not. Uh, well, maybe just this yeah, something. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know too many people here. Right, right, okay. I know more people here and yeah. here. So you're friends with them because you're buying, you're buying parts for, the, for yeah. your computer? 
Sure. You know, everyone here work independently. Right. Not want to compete. So, like my boss, he's charged for, uh, he's responsible for buying uh, screens and selling to all others. So he would come over to one of these shops and get a screen and then yeah, make it. Yeah. Everyone here want to want a screen to just come to my boss. Right, and right. if you want a motherboard, you come to that. that Should we have a look? Let's have a look what they're selling. Yeah, yeah. motherboard. Okay. So are these places, are they making a good amount of money or because they're, they're buying and selling goods? Do you think they're doing quite well here? Uh, well, this industry is not very, very, I don't know how to describe it. Like lucrative? It's, like... mostly, it's not very lucru lucrative. Right. It's mostly, uh, mostly income for uh, average workers here. So it's enough to get by? It's only about 5,000 a month. 5,000, well really, 500 pounds, but on 5,000 uh, RMB. RMB, RMB yeah, right, right. So dollars. Yeah. So that's about five hundred dollars. So these guys will sell motherboards and yeah, things like this. So gaming, yeah. gaming computers. I'm guessing mm. something like this. Wow. Yeah, lead the way. Lead the way. Oh uh, yeah. And this is Lenovo. The the shop of Lenovo is on the other floor. Sure. Do do Chinese people care about? Supporting the Chinese brands or yeah, the supporting care. the American yeah. brands is that is that a thing in China? It's a very interesting. Thing. Right. Uh, when I buy my first computer, I buy uh, Huawei. It's a brand you know you should know. Yeah, Huawei. Yeah, right. yeah. But China. actually, Huawei's computers suck. <laughs> but but you just did it to support China. Yeah, I did it to some extent support China uh, right, right. brand. Uh, but I don't think I don't no longer think it is a good idea anymore. Yeah, just kind of um, the stupid give it decision a try. to buy a computer which give it a try. costs about six uh, six thousand RMB. But actually, if we assemble here, it only costs about two thousand. Oh, okay. So after working here, you realize it's probably better to get your own custom yeah, computer. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What 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 do you think? What, what would you say to Chinese people who are always buying in the shopping malls? Would you would you tell them to come here to to get a computer or get a laptop? Is this the best place to come? Uh, probably if you have some relationship here, if you, well, if your friend or your relative work here, yeah. you can really get a computer with a very good price. Right, very okay. Cost effective. Yeah, and this guy here, his uh, shop is called The Great Wall. Yeah, The Great Wall is about uh, chargers, about uh, power. Uh, right. He doesn't mean The Great Wall of China, does he mean The Firewall? Uh, no, it's not The Firewall, it's <laughs> a brand about. Uh, this one. Oh, okay. Know, so selling the shells and things. Yeah, the cool. shells. How much would one of these cost you? These kind of shells. Uh, this one is not very expensive. It's no. Five hundred. Five hundred. This is not a, a good, uh, the best one. Right, right. But it looks cool. Yeah, it looks cool, right? You can buy all these kind of gaming setups. And what about this one? Is this like a? Oh uh, yeah, this one is. Uh, this is a water cooling. If you can see the pipes. Uh, water cooler. Water cooling. Uh, uh, water awesome. cooler. And this, this is only a fine Fan of things, right, right. Yeah. Where do they get all this stock from? Do they? Is it all made in Qingdao or do they get it from Shenzhen? Oh, no, no, it's from China, but I don't know where exactly. Just anywhere, just, it just gets moved around China. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I saw downstairs mainly like iPhones and things like this, right? Yeah, it's more since that it's official. Sure. But for on this floor, the sense is uh, more like DIY, sure. you assemble yourself, you want the things. Uh, yeah. Uh, people here, the buyers here are more like experts, to know more about computer, to know how to fix, how to assemble, to know what kind of parts a components they need for yeah. exactly. Yeah. But do you feel in China you have so many people, like for example this guy over here, who are like super smart, but their income isn't very high. They could be, yeah. they could probably working, they could be working at like a top company maybe. Uh, no, they don't know too much about computer programming. They know more about those computer parts. But actually, you can see that grandma in our shop. Yeah. Uh, do you remember? Yeah, him? the little yeah, lady. His right? son is in America. If he work here, you know, average salary is about five thousand RMB a month. But sure. uh, in America, he really earned a lot. So you can see the market in China or in the Western world is. Totally different. And but in China, there's also no minimum wage, so they can. Uh, no, yeah, there is, yeah. but uh, in Qingdao, it's sixty RMB every hour. Yeah, oh, so it's like five five pounds an hour. Okay. 
Valpart? No. 60, is that 5? 16. Oh, 16 RMB. 1-6. Uh, it's about 2 pounds. Oh, 2 pounds an hour. Right, yeah. right. It's the average uh, minimum wage. Yeah, and it is oh. very hard if it, this can be achieved. I know my friends yeah. working uh, in a restaurant and the salary is only 15 RMB. Right. So, so it's less than 2 pounds. That's crazy. I thought you said 60. 16. 16. Wow. Uh, I just went to Hong Kong last month and yeah. the minimum uh, salary is about 40. 40 Hong Kong dollars right, uh, okay. an hour. So it's right. about five, five pounds an hour. Really? Wow. It's pretty high, I guess. Yeah. Compared so, to here. So if you're, if you're Chinese, if you don't go abroad and go to an American university, Australian or British, your chances of then going abroad to find a job in the future is very small if you don't do this. Uh, so like find a job if I go to university in China. Yeah, it's it's difficult for then for you to go to say America or go to the UK to to get a higher paid job. Is it more difficult? Well, if you go to a university in China and want to have to want to have a job in, in America, it's very hard. Yeah. You can only do some basic job like sure. uh, some labor job. Right, right. Not very good. But salary is pretty high compared to China. Exactly, exactly. So, what does that depend on? So, people like you who are going to go to America, um, obviously, like you're smart enough. Does it then come down to your family and who, who has money? Is it down to that? Yeah, it depends on money more, not because right. I'm smarter than everyone here. Right, okay. So, just who can afford it? Yeah, who can afford it. But actually, a lot of people. If they have, they have an open mind, yeah. uh, like people from Fujian, you know that province in China. Yeah, yeah down people south, there, right? well, they prefer to go to America, go to Britain more, because uh, they are free to adopt uh, the source there. They are free to know that, well, if I can get paid there higher, yeah. I will choose to go there. I don't care anything else. And do you think all the Chinese, or most Chinese students, or young adults, do you think they have this knowledge that abroad there's a higher salary or yeah, they don't know, know? That. But I, I guess know. mostly sure but some people choose not to do that yeah a lot of reason maybe language maybe sure. they cannot adapt the yeah. culture yeah uh, to have difficulties uh, uh, being apart from their family oh right okay so it's like family things as well but starting a business up in China is actually quite easy compared to other countries would you say in terms really? of the, go the government kind of helps, gives you like no, some support? No, 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 it's ridiculous. <laughs> really? Uh, no? I guess speak a little quiet. Yeah. Little <laughs> yeah. Is that, uh, yeah, I just see it directly. Uh, like in China, if you want to start a business, yeah. if you don't have a relationship uh, with the government, it's very hard. Right, okay. Because I just thought so many people here have their own stand. I thought like that's the way forward. Uh, well, it's you know, kind, of, kind of small business and the government won't care you. Okay, so, <laughs> so small businesses is okay. Yeah, yeah. But especially in north part of China, like yeah. here. Right. You know, the relationship with government is very important part of starting your business. Sure, sure. So it's all like, it's like Guanxi, isn't it? Guanxi. Yeah. yeah. I heard there's some tax things. If you're a small business, the government don't tax you as much if you're a smaller business. but. Maybe if you're a big business, they yeah. they clamp down on it more. Right? Yeah, they, they will care if you do you want to listen to them. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Do you want to follow their policy? Right. Do not do anything bad. Sure. That's the thing you should remember. Keep it, keep it in your mind. Yeah. <laughs> Super interesting. Wow. So what what's your goals? What's your plans for the future? Um, um, after you've done what, working here. No, I'm not planning to work here in the future. Yeah. This is only like an activity I need to apply for a better job. Sure, like I have... Engine, I need some experience and skills. Nice, interesting, interesting. Yeah. Hi, right, man. All, all the best for your studies and uh, thanks thanks for showing me around. Yeah. Cool. Anything you want to say to the people? Uh, well, I will follow your account and <laughs> everyone just will follow you. Yeah. <laughs> Any message you want to say to them about like work or life? Life here is pretty interesting. It's pretty diverse, more diverse and more happier than you see. Yeah. Although the salary is not too high, but it's interesting. Hopefully these guys also have got an uh, interesting part of China. You've definitely told us a lot. So yeah, thank you, man. Yeah. All right. All right. See you soon. Yeah. Have a bye. We just got a real insight into the electronics market here. 
It's really refreshing to hear people speak so openly and honest about their experience and life, especially here in China. So the best thing to do is to actually come with a local and they can obviously show you around. But we're going to head out of here and we're going to jump in a taxi. We're going to go to a night market called Taidong, which is about 10 minutes from here. So let's go.